This video is all about this, a crumb quilt block. Okay, making a crumb quilt is really easy. So a crumb quilt is just a scrap fabric quilt. So I'm going to get all of my scrap fabrics here. I'm going to use like this orange colour and basically it doesn't matter how big or small any of your crumbs or your scrap fabrics are going to be. So let's start making our quilt block. So my fabric square of like the crumbs is literally going to be a four and a half inch square in the center of my block so i'm going to get started with that and i'll show you how i do the negative space in a second when i've got all of my scrappy bits all sewn together now because my center block my little scrap fabric block is going to be like a tiny it's going to be like a four inch square i want to keep a lot of my little scraps like smaller not bigger because i want it to look quite effective and another thing that i would recommend is even with like the same color fabric you have different values of them fabric obviously this is a more darker and this is more lighter and it's always best to kind of contrast the two i just think it gives it an extra pop when you do this kind of thing so see how these two are very contrasting i'm going to start by sewing them two together so the one thing about doing a crumb quilt like a scrappy quilt block always make sure that you have straight lines that's all that you want to do really and you're just going to put them right sides together like so and we are just going to sew them down and i'll show you another thing that i kind of like to do is like i kind of like to cut random things and then kind of build off that so i'm going to take you over to the sewing machine this is my Baby Lock Soprano. I always use the Baby Lock Soprano for all of my tutorials. If you have one, welcome to the club. If you don't have one, why don't you have one? It's a marvellous machine. I'll let you know some of the cool features that this machine has. I'm not paid or sponsored to create this video, so let's go. In the needle, we have regular polyester thread in cream. We have regular white polyester thread in the bobbin area. One of the cool features of this machine is that it can thread itself. Look, how cool is that? All threaded, you just pull it to the back. On into that foot. We've got the regular foot J on. Our regular settings are set for a straight stitch, which is this stitch selection here, number three. All these are manufacturer settings because they're all greyed out. I'm not changing anything. And I'm also going to activate this key. This is my pivot key, one of the cool features of this machine. Do you know what? I'm going to change this foot out because I like to use my quarter of an inch foot with guide. And da-da! Quilters, dream quilters, foot. It's a quarter of an inch foot with guide. How would you get your quarter of an inch perfectly and don't have to worry? So I'm going to put this on my machine and get sewing. And here we go. First bit of fabric face up. Second piece of fabric face down in that straight line. And then we're going to put it underneath our foot. Lower or press the foot. And we are going to start sewing a straight line. One thing I want to show you, and that is my iron, every single video is always that beep of that iron. Seriously, go and check. Um, but every time I press my presser foot up and down, you will notice that this foot is raising up and down. I'm not going to the back of the machine. I don't lift that. I do hands-free sew in here. Watch this. There you go. I didn't go to the back of the machine. It's literally raising up and down. And that was that magic feature with that pivot key. And it's literally hands-free sewing. So let's go and look isn't that cute we have two bits of fabric all sewn together so if you're really pedantic about using up every little bit of your sewing supplies this is a perfect block for you so you want to press let me just bring the iron over that just just turned off on us so let's get it warmed up here and we are just going to, you could finger press it, you could use a little roller, or you could use the iron. There we go. 
Now what I like to do is, is if I've got too much of a piece of fabric, because obviously this is just going to be a four inch square, so I don't want too much of fabric showing, and I want to create another straight line, because remember we're always working off straight lines, that's one thing to remember with these crumb quilts, so I am just going to cut that off like so. This could be an additional piece if you want this to be an additional piece, if you just want to throw this in the bin, the garbage then so be it, it's up to you, leave it up to you, I'm going to put it to one side, and this is the side that I'm going to be working on for my next piece, so I'm just going to get another piece of fabric and I'm going to line it up to this straight line here and we're going to sew right across just like we did the other one so I'm just going to cut this off here probably just going to press this down and then I'll meet you over the sewing machine so here you go this was our first piece of fabric right sides up we're going to get our next piece of fabric it's going to go right side down even though it doesn't really matter because it doesn't matter which way this is facing because it's a plain piece of fabric so hey ho if it did have a right side or wrong side we would be facing it the right sides down so then i am going to sew down here just like so then we're going to take it off the sewing machine so again, we're going to take it over to our pressing mat. We are going to press this into place like so. You can finger press it, you can press press it, you can do whatever you want, just make it flat like so. So we're going to have to make this little crumb piece straight somewhere. So just cut it wherever you want to cut it like so. And then you're just going to take your next piece. Now you could take that previous piece that we just cut. I don't know where I put it. Where'd it go? There it is. So you could take your last piece and you could like attach it to here, but I don't want to attach it to there. I'm going to save it again for a little bit later and I'm going to find another piece and attach it down here. So here we go. Right sides facing up, right sides facing down. And we're going to sew across. Do you know the one good thing about making a crumb quilt is that it's going to look totally different every single time you make one. There's never, not going to be a crumb quilt that looks any similar to another one. Sew this into place. So you see what I'm trying to achieve with this crumb quilt, can't you? If you have any questions, leave them down below. I love to answer any questions. I answer questions all the time. So don't be scared to ask me any questions. I'm available whenever you like. Obviously, whenever I see the question, I'll try to answer it as quick as I can. So obviously, like, you just need to just look at the block and find out where you can make a straight line. So I am just... Maybe I'm just going to do something like this. Wacky. There you go. And maybe I should just like cut this one. I'll do it like this. It's totally up to you how you want this to look. So just try not to get too kind of like, just let it go. Let it be organic is what I'm trying to say. Just let it just do its own thing. Don't have too much control about it. So I'm going to build this up to a four inch block and I will meet you back here after I've done that. Now, from this video today, you have learned that I make some really awesome videos and you really should subscribe to my channel. And also we have learned that we need to do highly contrasting colors when doing our crumb quilts because it looks absolutely amazing. So here we go. I have a four inch block. And how I know is that I'm going to take my ruler and I am literally going to line it up to... So on here, I see, I see it. Um, which is the most important part, may I add, um, my four inch block. So I am going to cut straight line all the way across here and then I'm just going to move it around and I'm just going to make sure that I am on that four inch there and I'm just going to cut. So I'm just squaring up this quilt block like you would square up your regular quilt block. So I'm going to make sure I've got that four inches like so I'm just going to cut it in if you don't have a rotary cutter you really should get one I have another video on my YouTube channel showing you how to use one of these and also get yourself a really good ruler for using your rotary cutter so there you go I have cut myself a lovely four inch crumb quilt block so now what i'm gonna do is make this into a bigger quilt block 
So I have basically cut a four inch piece of fabric off like this and you want to take this off. It's where it's been on the loom, you don't want them little dots there, kind of ugly. So I'm going to cut that off. So it's the four inches that match my block. So we are going to have to extend the sides out a fraction. So I'm just going to take this block and I'm just going to sew it into place. Then we have something that looks like this. Remember when you sew something, we always lose a quarter of an inch. And don't forget, we're building it up to a 10 inch block. So both your side bits are going to be basically three and a quarter. And then you've got that four inch block in the center. And then to save time, I'm just going to stitch this same one, like fold it over and stitch it into place here. And then we're going to attach it down here and then sew into place. And then I squared it up all the way to 10 inches. And this is what it looks like. Quite effective, don't you think? Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know, either about the Big Black Soprano or about this gorgeous little crumb quilt. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to miss my video next week. And thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.